Hello again. Thank you for visiting the Dying Retail YouTube channel and our third video. Today we visit Greenbrier Mall in Chesapeake, Virginia. Greenbrier Mall is a nearly 900,000 square foot regional mall located here in Chesapeake, Virginia in what's known as the Hampton Roads Metropolitan Area. This mall serves communities here in Virginia and North Carolina. If you like this video, hey, please click like and subscribe so you'll know when I do more. This mall opened October 7th, 1981, a little over 40 years ago. It was developed by Homeart Development and is currently owned and managed by CBL and Associates Properties. It has 114 stores. It's able to handle four anchors, which three are available. One is vacant, and it's a two-floor mall. Um, the three anchors are Dillard's, J.C. Penney's, and Macy's, and the fourth used to be Sears. The eatery used to have a lot of restaurants uh, in the uh, food court. However, the main draw is Chick-fil-A and a Charlie's Philly cheesesteaks. Outside of the mall in the ring, you have Abuelos, Olive Garden, Red Robin, the Black Pelican Seafood. In the lower level of the mall, right outside of J.C. Penney's, you have a cinema, cafe, dinner, movie, theater. And it's really sad seeing the mall as run down as it is. I got my start in retail here over 25 to 28 years ago starting with uh, selling electronics in Macy's, which used to be Hex at that time, and uh, then getting into uh, retail electronic sales at Radio Shack. Now to give you a little bit of mall history, the original anchors of Greenbrier Mall were Miller and Rhodes, which was sold to Hex in 1990, Sears, Leggett's, which is a division of Belk, and Hess's, which was added in 1987. which acquired the former Hesses in 1993, was sold to Dillard's in 1996. The Leggett store briefly operated as Belk before it was traded to Dillard's in 1998 as part of a mutual exchange. The former Belk became a men's and children's auxiliary store of Dillard's. In 
In 2003, the mall underwent an extensive renovation. Dillard's consolidated both stores to the former Profits at the East End with a 160,000 square foot reconstruction. In addition, the mall received a new color scheme and its current G mall logo and the former Leggett Belk Dillard's building was converted to JCPenney. In April of 2004, during the renovation, CBL and Associates acquired the mall from Gregory Greenfield and Associates for $102.5 million. A year later, the new JCPenney department store was completed and officially opened at the north end of the mall. In 2006, as part of a nationwide transition, the Hex store was rebranded as Macy's. In 2015, Sears Holdens spun off 235 of its properties, including the Sears at Greenbrier Mall, into Seritage Growth Properties. On June 28, 2018, Sears announced that its store would be closing as part of a plan to close 78 stores nationwide. The store closed in September of 2018. And it appears that when the Sears closed, it really hit this mall. And it just sort of said, hey, this is really a blue collar mall. What is it with malls and piano stores? And how do they pay people just to sit there all day? Do they actually sell anything? If you have an answer, leave it in the comments below. And I really wish I could have been more steady on this footage. However, uh, the last time I was in here, there were mall cops everywhere and I was expecting to be pounced on by them when I was doing this footage. I guess it just really showed. But uh, surprisingly, there was only two mall cops and they were mainly hanging around their little tiny office in the food court. So I could have been more relaxed, but didn't know that at the time. And this was taken on Memorial Day weekend. Anywho, back to some mall history. Back in 2019, GameWorks, formerly Jillian's, had announced that it would move its store to MacArthur Center by spring of 2020. However, we've had the COVID pandemic and all the shutdowns and there's a lot of uh, violence happening at MacArthur Center Mall, and I don't think the transition ever took place. I'll have to look more into that. I can't recall coming into this mall and seeing 
escalators blocked off and even the uh, elevator out of service, um, which leads me to question uh, maintenance and upkeep in the mall. Uh, that wasn't a good sign to me and it spoke more about the management of the mall than anything else. The nail salon uh, was packed, so maybe I wasn't seeing a lot of people walking around the mall because they were in there getting their mani and petties. In 2020, a Rosie's Gaming Emporium, a bar, four restaurants, and a hotel was proposed to take the lot formerly occupied by Sears. On September 15th, 2020, the Chesapeake City Council withdrew the proposal because of traffic concerns on intersections along Greenbrier Parkway, Crossways Boulevard, and Edenway North. And I would probably venture to say it was a boneheaded decision by the city council because that probably could have pumped a lot of new life uh, into the mall. Do people still use these photo booths? It's, I can't think of the last time I saw one. It's weird uh, seeing those anymore, especially with all the cell phones and stuff. I guess there's still teens that will use that. And I cannot remember what that storefront was. It's been a long time since I've been down this end of the mall. With the exception of blocked escalators and the uh, elevator out of service, overall, I gotta say, the mall itself, the building, everything overall seems to be kept up uh, pretty well. It's well cleaned and uh, nicely maintained. Um, it's just not a lot of foot traffic anymore. Most recently, March 10th, 2022, the mall was placed into receivership with CBL and Associates anticipating returning the property to the lender. And that's so much for Greenboro Mall history at the moment. Now the next question will be, who will run the mall next? and Will they do anything to help bring more traffic into the mall? Or are they just going to suck it dry and uh, try to get as much money out of it 
as they can. I don't seem to have a lot of faith in these uh, management companies. Uh, it, it seems like uh, there's other motives they've got now instead of running a profitable mall. This store straight ahead, I can't remember what it was. I think it used to be a K&B toy store, uh, but it was last a sports uh, collectible type shop. And uh, I don't know if they just went under or if they moved to a more lucrative uh, location. Uh, there's really not a lot to say about this food court, except it's extremely depressing. Hey, click like if you like this video and also subscribe. Uh, there's going to be more videos coming out uh, as I'm able. But uh, looks like the Japanese... No, I think the Japanese restaurant was still here. There, was a, there used to be a Chinese place that uh, left. This place here with trophies used to be an arcade long time ago. And then of course you had extra seating area back here. Uh, with the COVID uh, crap, uh, they had all this back here just completely blocked off. You couldn't sit back here. In fact, that's why you're not seeing the tables uh, anymore. Um, then this uh, elevator takes you down to the lower level and outside or another entrance to the lower level of the mall. Straight ahead is a little run-a-cop cubbyhole. But it's just sad. Used to have a McDonald's over there. Um, and I forget what else used to be over here. Uh, I was in this mall about two months ago. Uh, where that green wall is, that was open. I forget what they had. Um, but I think the food court just says more than anything. Uh, this mall's in trouble. And um, I, don't, I don't know how much you can really say, hey, it's Amazon killing the malls or the internet killing the malls. Um, I think it's just, it's an outdated model. It's a model that was based on having big anchors come in to draw the crowds for the smaller shops. And the big anchors are struggling. They, they can't keep up anymore. The malls are suffering because of that. Next, we'll take a little tour on the outside of the building uh, and spend a few moments outside the old Sears location.
thing I'm learning the older I get that the one thing you can always be sure of in life is change nothing stays the same however it still overwhelms the thought that pretty soon there's probably going to be no more seers and um, to have something that has been for over a hundred years a major part of American life. Um, to even hear my parents and grandparents talk about, couldn't wait all year, get the Sears catalog. Um, to realize Sears used to sell homes. You could buy a home and build it yourself. Um, just all the things that this company was involved with and to to see what it's come down to and it, it's there's probably more to it but it seems to me Sears merging with Kmart was its downfall it probably never should have done it and uh, of course Kmart tanked as far as I know, I don't think there's any, I think there may be one or two left, uh, but you might as well say they sucked Sears dry and um, this is what we get. The building here hasn't had no tenants since Sears left. Uh, it was basically a COVID vac uh, vaccine center for the city of Chesapeake and uh, otherwise, uh, nothing else and they're no longer using it for that I don't believe all shopping malls are going to disappear I think you're going to see a lot of them go away, but I think you're still going to have malls. People are still going to want to go out. There's certain things they don't want to go online and get. They want to be able to try things on right then and there instead of ordering something, find out they ordered incorrectly and have to send stuff back. But I think the golden age of retail malls is gone and we've got to adapt to the change and support the malls that stay after the dust settles. If you like this video, uh, please uh, click the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. I hope to get some additional malls uh, on the channel shortly however with uh, the current state of gas prices and uh, what it costs to fill up that may delay me going to some of the locations that I want to go to and uh, get footage but there will be more videos and uh, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel So I hope you enjoyed this uh, visit to Greenboro Mall and um, I'll keep tabs on it and uh, see what changes come of it and um, I hope to have a couple of more malls up here shortly. Take care and uh, thanks for stopping by. <music>